Hello, seniors. I'm glad you are still here listening to an exciting lesson related to life science. I'm Mom De La Sorina, and I'll be presenting to you today's amazing lesson. Are you excited? So do I. So let's make the most out of our class time. Learn while having fun. The history of genetic engineering can be traced back in 1953 when James Watson discovered the structure of DNA, after which scientists were able to understand and change the structure. The idea of genetic engineering is something that we associate with the 20th century. No one knew that genes were the mechanism of heredity until the middle of the 20th century. The direct modification of genes for some purpose did not even start until the 1970s. But it is worth noting that human beings have been, in some ways, influencing the genetics of organism for a very, very, very long time. As one of the greatest technological breakthroughs in science, this module demonstrates an understanding of the concept of genetic engineering. This module focuses on the simplest yet comprehensive lessons that will be tackled. You will appreciate the values that one must uphold in this worthwhile scientific endeavor. Advantages, benefits, and disadvantages will also be given emphasis at the end of this module. At the end of this module, you are expected to describe the process of genetic engineering. Genetic engineering, also called genetic modification, is one of the many branches of applied biology. It is the changing of an organism's genome using biotechnology. Moreover, genetic engineering involves artificial manipulation or modification and recombination of deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA and other nucleic acid to alter an organism's phenotype. In the previous module, you have gained understanding on the different unifying themes of life, from simple to complex structures of life forms, especially that of the human beings were presented. One of the prominent themes that we talk about is biology and society. Due to changes and technological advancement, people have been using biology to perform the following. Medical procedures, developing pest-resistant crops, and creating wildlife refuges where animals and other species can be protected and studied. Biotechnology is the use of biological techniques and engineered organisms to make products. In order to carry on this technology, it employs different processes such as Restriction enzymes, which is the cutting of the DNA strands into fragments. It is basically used to create DNA fragments with sticky ends or blunt ends that can join with other DNA fragments. Gel electrophoresis separates DNA fragments by size. It is used to study DNA fragments of various sizes. And recombinant DNA technology. It is the combination of a DNA fragment with a DNA from another source, also called exogenous DNA. Gene cloning is the production of the large numbers of identical recombinant DNA molecules. It is used to create large amounts of recombinant DNA to be used in genetically engineered organisms. DNA sequencing is used to identify the DNA sequence of cloned recombinant DNA molecule to further study. It is used to identify errors in the DNA sequences to predict the function of a gene and to compare to other genes with similar sequences from different organisms. Polymerase chain reaction or the PCR. It makes copies of specific regions of sequenced DNA. It is used to copy DNA for any scientific investigation including forensic analysis and medical testing. The following are the techniques and steps in genetic engineering processes for any organisms to be modified. Number 1. Identification of any organisms with desirable genes. 2. Extraction of the entire DNA. 3. Removal of the gene from the rest of the DNA. 
for insertion of new gene to an existing organism's DNA with a use of plasmid, which is a circular piece contains the genetic material. Moving on, let's have the types of genetic engineering or modification. First is the plant genetic modification. Acknowledged at present as plant genetic engineering, plant modification is the easiest method utilized by our wandering ancestors of the past. In this process, genetically heterogeneous population of plants is inspected, and superior individuals or plants with the most desired traits like improved palatability and yield are selected for continued propagation. Examples, production of pest-resistant plants and increase of crop production. The second type is the animal genetic modification. Modern breeds of livestock differ dramatically from their ancestors as a result of breeding strategies. Established and emerging biotechnology in animal agriculture include assisted reproductive technologies, use of naturally occurring hormones such as recombinants and biotechnologies to enhance reproductive efficiency without affecting the genome, and biotechnologies to enhance expression of desirable genes, examples increase of milk production per cow and double production of eggs in chickens. Number three is the genetic modification of microbes. Microorganisms play significant roles in food production. They serve as primary and secondary roles in food fermentation and in food spoilage, and they can produce enzymes or other metabolites used in food production and processing. Humans have used and genetically modified microbes or microorganisms for centuries to produce food, wine, bread, and cheese are common examples of ancient foods still popular depend on microbial ingredients and activities. Examples are increased microbe-dependent food production and increased human immunity or resistance to microbe-caused diseases. That was an amazing lesson, isn't it? I hope you learned a lot in today's topic. Thank you for listening and don't forget to take care of yourself by staying at home. See you again next time. Bye-bye.